Most of this information comes from the Tax Guide for Small Business for Individuals Who Use Schedule C, Publication 334, Tax Year 2022. You can find on the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. Looking at the income tax formula, we're focused on line one, that being income. Remembering that the first half of the income tax formula is in essence an income statement, although it's just an outline, a scaffolding, many other forms and schedules flowing in into these line items for example with the income line we're focused on now we're thinking about the schedule c another schedule which is in essence an income statement in and of itself having income minus expenses or business deductions the net income what flows through here to the income line item in our income tax formula this formula representing the form 1040 this is the first page of the form 1040 where we would be focusing in on line eight other income from schedule one the income would flow through the schedule c to schedule one to here to line eight on page one of the 1040 here is a schedule c profit or loss from business where we would have income minus expenses the net income flow into schedule one flow into page one of the 1040. okay identification numbers as we know the irs knows us not by name but by number so we need to have one of those things so this section explains three types of taxpayer identification numbers we got the tins who needs them, when to use them, and how to get them. So social security numbers, the SSN, this is the major obviously number for individuals. Now the individual social security number, if you have one, could be used for filing obviously the form 1040 and possibly for your business as well. But even if you don't have any employees, you may still want to get another number, which might be an EIN number. One reason you might want to do that is because if you work for other businesses, then you might have to provide those other businesses with your identification information so they can issue you not a W-2, but a 1099. And you don't want to have to issue or give them your social security number so you might then want to set up an EIN number in that instance which is fairly easy to do and we might touch on in a second here in a bit more so generally you use an SSN social security number or TIN uh, you must put this number on each of your individual income tax forms such as the form 1040 and its schedules to apply for an SSN social security number use form SS-5 application for a social security card this form is available at social security administration the ssa offices or by calling 800-772-1213 so that is a separate institution of course it's a federally federal government institution but sometimes people think that all federal government institutions are like the same or that all governments are the same like the federal government versus the state and local government and although they could exchange information you have the part of the art of dealing with the government is going to the right place to do the right thing so if we want to get the social security number which we will need to tell the irs who we are we've got to go to the social security administration and deal with them at the ssa so it is also available from the i from the ssa website which you can go to ssa.gov forward slash forms forward slash ss dash five individual taxpayer identification number otherwise known as an i-10 i-t-i-n the irs will issue an i-10 if you are a non-resident or resident alien and you do not have and are not eligible to get an ssn a social security number so the social security number for individual reporting is basically the default number that you would put on the 1040 but if you don't have the social security number of social security numbers the irs still wants to know who you are and they still want to get a piece of your income if you if it's subject to income so then you've got the fallback number for individual taxpayers being the i-10 so the i-10 will expire for any taxpayer who does not file a federal income tax return or who is not included as a dependent on the return of another taxpayer for three consecutive years it's a temporary thing you got to keep it in constant uh, update so in general if you need to obtain an i-10 uh, you must attach form w-7 
application for IRS individual taxpayer identification number with your signature, original completed tax return, and any other required documentation and mail them to the address in the instructions for Form W-7. So you can take a look at the IRS website, get the instructions for the W-7 if you need more information on that. Exceptions are covered in the instructions. So if you must include another person's SSN, social security number, on your return and that person does not have and cannot get an SSN, enter that person's ITIN, I-T-I-N. Another person on your 1040, for example, could be a spouse, could be a dependent. So the application is also available in Spanish, Espanol. The form is available at irs.gov forward slash form W7. Caution, an I-10 is for tax use only. It does not entitle the holder uh, to social security benefits or change the holder's employment or immigration status. Immigration? So the IRS needs that number to process the income tax return. One of the problems, uh, if you're working uh, in a situation where you don't have a social security number or access to social security benefits is, is one of the issues. Are you gonna be subject to paying social security taxes in a situation where you're not gonna get the benefits of you know, the, the, social, the social security benefits at, after the age of retirement? But we won't dive into that.